EDUCAS WJEC specification asks us to consider St Augustine's teaching on predestination as a religious approach to the issue of whether we are free or determined. There is a significant issue of vocabulary that must be considered before we begin. Predestination refers to the religious teaching that our ultimate end or outcome has been set out in advance by God. For some, God controls only the ultimate end of our lives. For others, he controls every event and act. If the first case is true, we may have some freedom to control our individual actions, but they make no difference to our own outcome at the end of our lives. It has been decided independent of our own actions. If the second case is true, we have no free will of any kind. This differs from the materialist approach of hard determinism, which focuses on the natural laws of cause and effect to indicate that we have no free will. Candidates should be clear in an examination that any question on hard or soft determinism is asking for the philosophical rather than the religious approaches to this topic. Questions that ask about predestination are related to the work of St Augustine or John Calvin, who we will consider in a later film, and are religious in nature. St Augustine lived from 354 to 430 CE and is one of the early church fathers. His thoughts on the issue of free will and predestination are referred to in the City of God and the Confessions. Augustine was influenced by a contemporary scholar, Pelagius, who appeared to preach that humans can influence their own salvation and ultimate destination. Augustine argued that God's grace is absolute, since God is omnipotent, and therefore no one can claim to be saved from sin via their own good deeds or merit. Any suggestion that humanity chooses good for themselves is a challenge to the ultimate power of God and to the need for Christ's saving work on the cross. Whilst this approach appears to preclude the need for free will, Augustine did teach that humanity was created with free will and holds both free will and predestination in a delicate balance. 